I remember David saying in the extra features of the first season that they should tell stories that tug on the heartstrings, and this was one of them. That said, how can you tug on someone's heartstrings more than coming to the aid of a sick child? From beginning to end, this is such an emotionally charged episode in the team dropping everything to come to April's niece's aid in keeping her spirits up and going the distance to find a donor for a bone marrow transplant. Michael talks about the concept of family, in that it's not necessarily people who are related to you, it could be people you know, and people who care about you, in which he cites that he, Kit, Devon, and April are like a family. And that's so true, because David would treat Edward like his second father on screen, and that would continue till the end of the series and the somewhat lukewarm 1991 revival TV movie Knight Rider 2000. The less we say about that train wreck, the better. The episode has high-octane action with turbo boosts and great action sequences, as you would expect in a Knight Rider episode, but because of the high-stakes story with Becky's life, it just makes it all the more memorable, because it's the suspense from when Michael and Kit first set off to help Becky, to when you didn't know if they would make it back due to the bridge being washed out, in which I never thought I would see the day when Kit would ride the train tracks after turbo boosting onto them, but then six years later, Back to the Future Part 3 would have the DeLorean on the train tracks in order to go back to 1985. The writing is solid. I would dare say that this is a top contender for episode of the season for season two. And for a little bit of trivia, this episode is dedicated in the memory of Marcel Raphael Marcelino, who died while his father, Mario, was filming this episode. Mario played the role of Julio. And this is also the first use of Kit's police mode. For acting, when you have an emotional story, it brings out the best that the actors are capable of in bringing. Now, considering that the regulars are decent class actors anyhow, it just makes it all the more rewarding when they're able to show the emotion a little more so that the audience is able to feel what they are feeling in the story. I feel like Rebecca, David, Mario, and Robin Lively especially made the story believable. Robin for her portrayal as Becky feeling so poorly and one of the key central characters to this week's episode that you feel for her. Mario as Julio Rodriguez you're kind of on the fence with as you feel like he's being a douche for not wanting to go along to help Becky because he has problems of his own with a local gang but he does have his heart melt when he sees Becky looking so helpless near the end. Rebecca puts in one of her finer performances as April in trying to keep Becky and her mother supported, even when she doesn't know how. David as Michael is the glue that is holding this whole situation together by going across state looking for Julio and instilling the importance of the situation and ending the war between the gang. Daniel sells it as Kit once more with a much more emotional performance in the banter between Kit and Becky. As for the score... This week just covers so many ranges from sad moments where Becky is laid up in waiting for a transplant, and it just pulls on your heartstrings to bring you into that moment. Along with when Kit is showing his happiness that Becky is almost well enough to go for a drive again. Overall folks, I remember being bowled over when I originally saw this on DVD back in 2005, as I didn't see it on its original televised airing. And I have to say that this is one of the episodes that sticks out in my mind when I think of Knight Rider. It's the reminder that you'll do anything to help a friend or loved one when they need it the most, and you'll go the distance to do it. One man can make a difference, and Michael Knight made a difference again. Sometimes you don't have to be a superhero from another world with incredible godlike powers or a rich vigilante. Sometimes you can be an amazing individual and convince someone through reason to help a person that really needs their help. Michael Knight was the difference maker for Becky and Julio. It's why the character has as much value now as it did then. Long may it continue. One man can make a difference. You can make a difference in your own life, and you can make a difference in someone else's life. Good night from the night.